Okay, we've just put the first layer of dyed blue epoxy on top of a quarter inch of blue clear that Millie did earlier today. And it's turning out exceptionally well. The part that we're paying deep attention to is right alongside this river. We're looking for little bubbles that might pop out from the grain of the wood not being shielded properly. We tried with all of our heart to seal that cove and underneath, I think sealing it first and then putting the epoxy on was the difference. We've already had a round of popping the bubbles and they're not springing back up. Well, there's one or two that's coming up, but we'll get that here in a few minutes. The wonderful thing about epoxy is, is that you have a little time to work with it. 20 minute window. We're starting to develop some bubbles right here in the middle, but we're gonna let them get a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna take the torch over it one more time. Man, that color is awesome. And the coves look beautiful. Look at them coves. Oh, that is beautiful. And this is the bottom side. Yeah, this is the bottom. That's why the wood doesn't look fantastic on this side. This will be the part you don't see. And the reason we put it on the bottom side was because the bubbles rise to the top. We wanted to make the bubbles come this direction so that we'd have nice clear, clear top when we flipped it over. which we didn't do the last time. The last time we poured it from the top and we had to fight all the bubbles on the surface. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. 